Okay, so this one's going to be about Charles, Prince Charles. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So are we all wondering, you know, how will Charles do? Will he change? Will he become more um, introspective? Will he be more like his mother? So let's see what the cards have to say about that. So yeah, I want to know if he's going to gather all the knowledge that he needs before this uh, transition happens, okay? Is he going to have in hand the lessons that his mother has been trying to show him, to teach him, to demonstrate to him uh, all these years? And when will that happen? Will that happen soon? Or will it happen after maybe the Jubilee? Uh, we may not get the answer to that, but let's just uh, give it a shot. So this is one of my favorite decks, Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all, so, except when I use it. Now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's, Cat Black has written this, it seems like. And so there's a good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually, it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her. And uh, she's a webmaster, an author, an artist. And she also, she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So, and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie, uh, Dreams Down Under. So she'd be tickled to know this, I think. Uh, so anyway, let's look at the cards. Um, my other favorite... Uh, uh, reader. Uh, Violetta uses these cards exclusively. They're the only cards she'll use. So there you go. They're beautiful though. And they're not hard to handle. They are a little slicky and when they're new they're very gilded on the edge and then as you use them of course that starts wearing off which is sad. But, um, but they're beautiful. They're easy to read. They're right or white uh, iconography and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you uh, to look at the different cards when I do this. And uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here. So for this reading, I really want to focus on Charles as monarch. And we can see here that at the base of the pack, the card that was there, and that sort of, for me, sometimes carries the strength through to the reading, is uh, the Hierophant. And so for me, immediately, this is charge as the Hierophant, in charge of, of that uh, that, that uh that monarchy, he's the monarch, okay? So Charles as monarch, Charles as monarch, Charles as monarch, Charles, Prince Charles as king, as monarch. Okay, let's do a little bit of shuffle here. And I think what I'd like to know is will he be monarch sooner rather than later? Will Charles be monarch before the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Charles as monarch, will this be before the Queen's Platinum Jubilee? Charles as monarch. Let's take six cards. Okay, so this will be one, two, three, Four, five, and six. Charles as monarch before the Platinum Jubilee. Let's see what these cards have to tell us. The signifier card is the Seven of Wands. So the you know wands are plans, or actions, or movement. 
um, and going forward. So the Seven of Wands typically is this fellow who is sort of fending off uh, these uh, plans, these actions, these um, occurrences that are uh, poking up at him right now. So I have to say, this is Charles. He has the plan. He's holding on to it. He's trying to fend off these other inevitable occurrences. That's the signifier. The challenge for this, then, is temperance. Of course it is. Okay, divine, divine, um, I don't want to say judgment, but divine uh, intervention, divine counsel. And uh, so for me, temperance is knowing when, you know, having a, solid, a foot solid on the ground, a foot in the water of emotions, of compassion, knowing how to balance that off. So this angel of temperance is the challenge uh, to uh, Charles's uh, balancing act over here. This angel of temperance is who is going to really call the game for Charles's situation. The base of this reading then is the two of swords. And the two of swords, I always like to think of swords as truth and justice. Okay? There's going to be a decision that has to be made here. One way or the other. Which way are we going to go? And so this is the base of this reading, and so it is the pending uh, question of all of this. Charles is monarch. Will that happen sooner rather than later? The past of this reading, then, is the star. The star is the queen. The queen is the amazing uh, uh, um, star that she has been throughout her life, never putting a foot wrong, always having complete control of the compassion, the um, the the emotion of the day in the end okay that's the queen the sky of this reading is the queen of cups and so it just reinforces that that this queen this queen of emotion this queen of compassion okay finding that balance okay in her reign queen of cups The likely outcome of the first part of this is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, of course, uh, cups are, again are, are a, an emotional, compassionate um, uh, situation alive with, um, with with the 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 elements that make our heart move. And so this is you know wanting things usually to be uh, at a time when they were better, when when things were were clearer. I don't know, for some reason for me, these two figures in here, even though one is smaller and one is larger, you'd think that they were siblings, but I feel like this is Charles learning by rote what has to be done. And I think this small figure is the queen, you know, just handing to him, you know, more of, of what he's going to need. For the last four cards, Charles as monarch, sooner rather than later, the signifier of that, the self of that question, is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is very often thought of as something, you know, being offered that you don't really want to take. You can see that this figure has the arms tucked under the, under, um, her hands tucked under the arms, or his hands tucked under his arms. There's plenty on the table. The majority of what's here is in his favor, and there's just one cup left to complete this set. And it doesn't look like he's ready to take it. Okay? Very interesting. The environment that that's in, then, is the Hermit. The Hermit is a terrific card to get, especially right now, because the Hermit's telling us this, that this, you're going to take your time, you know, shine a light into the situation. You don't take a step until you know where you're going to go, where that step's going to lead you. This is the wizened hermit. And let's hope that this is who Charles is becoming at this very moment, okay? The hopes and the fears for this, then, again, the devil. This was uh, uh, prominent in the reading for the queen. So the hopes and the fears are the ill intentions, are the turmoil, are the um, earthly... Um, temptations 
that uh, are such a challenge, uh, especially uh, in this potential monarch's uh, reign. reign. Especially given all the issues that the monarchy has on its plate at this very moment. And the final outcome for all of this, Charles, Page of Cups. So the page is the, the very weakest member of that royal court, okay? But this page is bringing to the court an offer of compassion. There's a surprise in store, okay? The, the seas are turbulent behind this, uh, this page. And this page is bringing something to court that they don't know what, you know, the, what the import of it is, but it's, it is important enough that this page has been summoned to the court with this uh, issue. Okay. Let's read that again, just to see if it gives us some sort of a clearer picture. Charles as monarch and or will he be monarch sooner rather than later? So it starts out with a signifier. For me, this is definitely Charles really walking a tightrope almost okay he has the plan firmly in his hands but there's so much here to deal with and when will it be the appropriate time for him to step forward and start to deal with these issues well the challenge to that is temperance temperance it has a, a, a divine message okay to hopefully um, help him know when this balance will be achieved the base of all of this is, of course, that decision of which way to go and when will that occur. Many times, this Two of Swords is shown as being blindfolded, but this Two of Swords has their eyes wide open. Okay, This choice is obviously something that has to be made. It's coming. This Two of Swords is anticipating okay, making that decision. The past of this reading was the star. Clearly, this is Queen Elizabeth. And, and just showing how she has had completely in hand um, the e emotions of the uh, situation that was dealt with her so long ago and has finally come to its natural uh, conclusion. In the sky of this reading, we have the queen as she is right now, the queen of cups, okay, the queen of all of these passionate issues, okay. She's getting ready to write with this uh, plume the final, the final message. Um, the self of this question, though, has to do back to Charles, okay? prepared, ready. He has his minions around it. He has um, the, the majority of what he needs. And this one final cup is just about to be offered. It, this hand has not quite yet been extended. And this uh, figure is not anxious to accept it. But it's right here when it's necessary. The uh, environment that this is in is in of this wizened hermit, okay, studying the path, okay, uh, knowing uh, when uh, to take that step. This is Charles, the monarch he will become. The hopes and the fears, the fears are all of the issues that are going to land uh, on the lap of this uh, monarch when he steps into that position. And then the page of cups is that small offering um, of, of, of emotion, of compassion, of this passionate choice uh, above all of this turbulent uh, water that we see here. This is what's coming to him. It comes to him as a message for him to deal with as is appropriate. This doesn't tell us um, if he's going to be monarch sooner rather than later. And I, the very fact that it doesn't say that says to me, um, I'll just take the optimistic choice that it will be later but he'll be prepared for it, and he'll have some idea of the direction to go in, something to build on when that happens. So the question is, is uh, will he find a balance? Will he get the balance that he needs that's key to making this thing happen, that's anticipated, this this thing, this uh, following his mother's uh, shining star? And uh, the queen, uh, as she writes her final chapter, this inevitable horror uh, and a privilege at the same time, uh, will he be wise enough to deal with the, the devilish issues that are, are right there, right on the edge, waiting for him to, to take them up? And will he be ready and prepared? And he will be, but we just don't know when it'll be. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.